Are your Google Shopping ads not getting any clicks or impressions? I'm gonna show you how to fix this today in this video. Let's go. Okay, I understand this loud and clear. It's really, really frustrating when your Google Shopping ads don't show. You spend all this time setting up your product feed, getting them approved in Merchant Center, you create your campaign in Google Ads, and you wait, but nothing happens. Those ads don't show. They don't get clicks. Maybe they don't even get impressions. Well, in this video, I'm gonna go through right now all the different tips at why this happens and how we can fix it. Okay, so there are some really basic reasons why this may be happening. So let's go through these first and then we'll get into the details. The first reason that it can happen is that billing isn't properly set up in Google Ads. Maybe you is your first time running Google Shopping Ads. Go into the settings and go into billing and make sure that your card is hooked up and it's not being declined. If a card is declined, you should get a notification, but you need to fix this. Get that charge going through and then your ads will go live again. The second thing is often Merchant Center isn't even connected to Google Ads. Maybe you have everything approved in Google Merchant Center, but it's not linked up. So make sure that these two are linked so that information can go into Google Ads and then go to those Google Shopping campaigns. Okay, the third basic reason is that you haven't even set up your Google Shopping feed. So this is a whole process you need to go through. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to a video that I filmed where I went through how to set up all your product feed and all that sort of stuff from start to finish. It's really important that you get this set up. You can't just set Google Shopping ads live. You need product information, you need the product feed, and it is a tedious process. So I go through it in that video. So check the description um, and watch that video. Okay, so if the, all those things are clear and you have everything set up, you've got billing set up, Merchant Center is connected, and you do have a product feed, Let's go into the other reasons what that might be causing this problem. So one is that your products are not approved in Merchant Center. So go to Merchant Center and check if there are any disapprovals. If everything's disapproved, and even if maybe there's an account level disapproval, maybe for shipping settings or something like that, then make sure that those things are approved. I'll leave a link in the description to a video on how to fix product disapprovals, but go through and make sure that these are all approved in Merchant Center. Okay, the second reason, which is probably the most common, is your bids are too low. When you start your Google Shopping campaign, Google has no idea what your products are and who to show them to. So what I like to do is I increase the bids much higher than what I usually would have bids at. So usually maybe shopping bids are around $1 or under $1. It depends on the product and the niche. But what I like to do at the start is kickstart the campaign by increasing those bids up to two to three dollars. It's just in the short term. The goal here is to give those products a higher ad rank to get more impressions at the start so Google can start figuring out much more quickly who those products are best suited to. And I know that this might hurt if you're very budget conscious, but you can wait a month to get that data or you can wait three to seven days. If you increase those bids in the short term, you might spend more money on the front end, but you're gonna save a lot of time sitting there waiting when you could be getting those sales right now. Okay, the next reason why your ads aren't showing is because you're using an automated bidding strategy like target ROAS on your shopping campaign and Google has no conversion data about what your products are. So with an automated bidding strategy like a target ROAS bidding strategy, you do need 30 or more conversions per month to give Google enough information about the people that buy your products. I actually recommend 50 to 100 plus. I like to do manual bidding at the start, but if you come out of the gate with a fresh campaign with an automated bidding strategy, it's gonna be really hard for Google to know how much to pay for your product. So you might be getting one click for every $17, that might be the case, and Google's there waiting and it doesn't know when to show your ads. I recommend starting with manual bidding. You can use enhanced CPC, but as long as it's manual bidding and then increase those bids to two to three dollars at the start, just to get that data in the door, and then later, once you have enough conversions, then you can change to an automated bidding strategy. Okay, the next reason is too many negative keywords. Maybe you're using an old campaign, or maybe you started adding negative keywords already, but if you have negative keywords in that campaign, you're gonna stop Google from showing your ads for many search terms. That's okay if those search terms aren't performing, but for a new campaign, and I recommend just letting Google work their magic and start showing your ads. Okay, the next reason is when your product feed is not optimized. Okay, so if you just imported your product feed straight from Shopify and you have no information in Shopify about what your products are, even the titles, and I've seen this before, the titles aren't descriptive of the actual product, then Google is not gonna know what the heck your products are. It's gonna start throwing them and trying to get impressions and it doesn't even know where to even start. So I recommend really making sure that the fee that you set up has titles, descriptions, good images, and good information there, including the Google product category, and I'll leave a link in the description to the Google product category 
for your products to make sure that Google knows what the heck they are and who they can start showing them to uh, in the Google search results. The next reason your ads aren't showing is because your location settings are wrong. Make sure you go into the campaign settings and you make sure the location settings are accurate for where you can ship to. If you just choose a tiny town in the middle of nowhere and say to Google, yep, yeah, let's start our shopping campaign there, it's gonna take years to get enough product data for Google to know what your products are and who to show them to. And there won't be enough traffic there to make that shopping campaign worthwhile. What I recommend is going more general. If you're targeting the US, then just target the US. If you're targeting the UK, target the UK. And don't get granular with the location settings unless it actually makes sense. If you're selling flowers just to, in New York, then yes, location settings for New York. But if you're selling widgets for all of the US, make sure it's set to the US. Unless you just wanna target a small area, but the smaller the area, the more time it's gonna to take to get that data because there's less people searching. Okay, the next reason is because your budget is too low. If your budget is $1, that's half a click per day by if you increase those bids at $2. It's gonna take so long and Google's just gonna take so long to show those products and it's not even really worth it. I recommend a budget for a shopping campaign, $30 to $50 per day at the start. You definitely won't use that in the start, even for the first one to two weeks because Google still ramps up those ads, depending on your product, but Google will ramp up those ads. But in the, at the start, I really recommend $30 to $50 to make this worthwhile. Shopping campaigns really kick into gear when you get $100, $200, $300 dollars per day that's when they can really scale like crazy because Google's getting enough data to come through to, to see who's converting and to know who to show those products to. Okay, the last thing that can affect your ads showing is time. Make sure that you give it some time to work. It can take a few days to even start seeing those first impressions. You can increase the bids and play with the feed, but I would even recommend just get those bids up and leave it and just watch it. See what comes through, see what the first clicks are. You might see the first clicks are actually very irrelevant. That's okay, you can add negative keywords to tell Google don't keep showing for that search term. But once it starts getting those clicks for good search terms, let it go, let it keep going. Maybe you'll actually find out that some of those search queries people are using are different from what you have in your feed. Sometimes I recommend they're going back to your product feed and maybe changing some of the terms. Maybe they're synonyms for what people are searching for. It's better to actually include what people are searching for, the language of your product, in your product feed. But yes, give it some time guys. It can take some time in those first few days to get those first impressions, but it's not gonna happen in a few minutes or a few hours. Don't stare just freaking out because you're not getting impressions in, in 30 minutes. It takes time. And make sure you set the right time period when you're looking in the Google platform because you can select today and you'll see, okay, how many impressions there are today. It does have a bit of delay sometimes, but you'll be able to see then and make sure you're not looking at last month and going, why there aren't any impressions? Well, last month you can't change the past, you know, so you can't change how many impressions there were back then if no, no one actually saw the ad. So make sure you're looking at today, right now, the last few days to see are the ads getting impressions. Okay, so those are the big reasons that I've seen when shopping ads aren't getting clicks or impressions. If you still are having problems and have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll respond to you as soon as I can. I've been dealing with this sort of problem for years now and I know what it's like, it's very frustrating, but once you get those campaigns going, they start getting clicks and impressions and those conversions start trickling in. It's a beautiful thing because then you can start scaling those campaigns and shopping campaigns are amazing because they have so much potential in scalability. You're not limited to some keywords like with search campaigns and Google can really use a lot of their juicy data and algorithms to find out who would actually like to buy your products based on what they're searching on Google search. If this video was useful, please let us know and please leave a thumbs up. That really, really helps us keep making this content. If you wanna see more content like this and more tips, how to improve your Google ads, how to build up your e-commerce store and to do it remotely, please subscribe. We're gonna be putting out a lot of footage. You will to see a lot of new videos that we're putting out, case studies and other tutorial videos. Uh, apart from that, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.